everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at just a gorgeous 1970 Ford Mustang True Mach 1. Gorgeous car, guys. I bought this car uh, down the shore. I was actually in, uh, in South Georgia. Uh, the car's from Florida. Uh, it's just undergone a complete uh, body up restoration. Super nice car. Uh, it's finished in, you can see it, the uh, bright white with the uh, blue hood striping and deck striping. Pretty, pretty car. Does have a Marty, Marty report. It is a true Mach 1. Guys, it's a 351 Cleveland that just absolutely rocks. Four speed, shaker hood. Very, very nice car. The guy I bought it from. This was actually his buddy's car. He brought it to the show to sell it for him. Uh, he owns a restoration shop down in Florida. I actually bought a Nova from him years ago. Now, he didn't do the restoration on this car. The paint and uh, in interior stuff was done. He did the motor, and the motor is fresh. Uh, he said the restoration is about five, six years old. The motor is brand new. And let me tell you something, guys. This car eats, man. 351 Cleveland. Uh, 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 roll, uh, roller, uh, solid lift roller rockers and I'm telling you this thing will absolutely fly uh, I mean I just I, when I got it out and drove it through first and second gear it just torches the tires I uh, love the color combo it's not original uh, this is what, uh, what uh, his, his buddy wanted uh, but nice car and it's pretty I do like the white with the blue stripes again it does have a Marty report very nicely done there's a few little things in the paint we can kind of pick at but nice 50 50 some thousand original miles again it is a true Mach 1 uh, it is a true 51 Cleveland car pretty color combo uh, factory shaker hood car It's got the dual sport mirrors. Factory rear window slat car. You see where it was, there's a spot. Oh man, I can't find it. Of course it's sunny out. Sorry guys, I thought there was a little spot in the paint that I was gonna point out and now I can't find it. It's nothing major. Um, it's like a rub mark where they were rubbing it out. Man, I can't see it, guys. Again, factory rear window slack car, front and rear spoilers. Doggone it, guys. Can't find it, can't see it. He showed it to me too, so I don't know. I'll have to peek at it, man. I couldn't. You can see the car is nice and flat down the sides. BF Goodrich radial TAs uh, all the way around it. 15 inch Magnums. Pretty, pretty car, man. This car just hits me strong. Of course, these Mustangs are so hot. Dual sport mirrors. Uh, front disc brakes. Yeah, and this is fresh. 351 Cleveland, supposed to be the original engine. Of course, guys, it, the, they had a number on the back side of this block. With a Cleveland, it's impossible to get back there and see it. So, you know, again, I'm passing you on information that I was told. 
I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to guarantee this car to be a matching numbers engine because I can't verify those numbers. Holly four barrel, it's got an Edelbrock Torker aluminum intake, uh, ceramic headers, power steering, power front disc brakes. It's got an MSD Pro Billet distributor, of course, factory shaker hood, um, factory air cleaner, all detailed up real nice underneath the hood here. Uh, close ratio, four speed manual trans. It's got uh, roller rockers in it. Oh, stepping in water puddles here. Good looking car, man. It's a little chip there. I like this car a lot, though. This car just hits me strong. And we fired it up. It's got a great sound. Well, I was going to tell you one thing. When they did the restoration, you know, they went as far to kind of put some of the markings and stuff like that on it. Dual sport mirrors. You can see the glass is nice. Uh, new door handles. Pretty, pretty car. The lights and the doors working. Bucket seats, console, her shifter. Uh, he just rebuilt the rim blow horn for him, so it does work. It's got the fold down rear seat. Uh, it's got the aftermarket uh, speakers and stuff in it. Uh, 53,914 on the odometer. Factory dash engages. I know that tack's a little lazy. It kind of it's a little lazy. The other thing I know, the uh, the temperature gauge down there does work, but the uh, that oil pressure gauge isn't coming on. So I will have uh, Stevie check that for me. Parking brake works. Radio works. Got an aftermarket. Uh, that's probably an audio sounds radio. Uh, Magnaflow dual exhaust. He's got turn downs on it, so he doesn't have it coming out the back. Nine inch Ford, uh, 373 traction lock rear end in it. That's pretty cool right there. That's your original inflatable spare with the jack and everything. That's about 600 bucks right there. Uh, you can see it's got the Marty report, the owner's manual. Pull this up. It's got a couple mats here. Ah, come on. Well, if I can get it out of there without ripping, you can see it's solid in there. I like that white with that blue stripes. Pretty, real pretty. Wasn't a rotisserie or anything like that. Still nice, solid underneath. Torque boxes and stuff are, are nice on it. Got it up in the air. I got some pictures of the bottom of the car for you. It's got all the correct seat belts in it. Seats are nice. Council's in good shape. No on the clock. Uh, they put a new dash cap on it. He told me that. Good looking car. We'll go ahead and have Jordy fired up. And I've told uh, Jordy to be careful here. This thing rocks. Again, solid roller motor. And this thing runs, boys. I'm telling you, it gets at the program. I can do this one handed. Yeah, get it? Come on. You have to come on, I did get it.
again, they put these little P in there. They've done they've done some cool stuff. Uh, again, tack works. It is a little lazy. Um, fuel gauge does work. A little low on fuel. Like I said, the temp gauge is working, but that oil pressure gauge is not. So. Parking brake works. Hopefully you can see the lights behind me here. I don't think I have the reverse lights. I don't think they're working. Again, radio does work. Blower motor works. Never actually turned the wipers on. They work. Yeah, and make sure you keep track of our inventory. Yeah, the rim blow horn works. Again, yeah, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. Every time I post one of these cars, you can get a notification uh, letting you know that I'm posting a new car. And then there's always the old-fashioned way, guys. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. 248-620-3355. Boy, that's pretty, man. Good looking car. The glass fits up nice too. Ah, Jordy sissy did, man. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.